Fair Entry, also known as The Cow Book, by Elisa Golden. Never mind the press, 1990. I didn't see them. Apparently, they were all over the road, climbing in parked cars, windows up, windows down. They climbed in all the cars. It was easy. Their reflections were in all the rearview mirrors. The smell got in first. It got there the day before. A herald, a fanfare of cowness. Someone was to pick cow for a day, but all the judges were disqualified for either having eaten ground chuck the night before or owning stock in a company with a conflict of interest, i.e. fast food. The cows shuddered and stuck to their decision. Those, like the judges, who admitted to eating cow relatives were denied entrance to the event. Those denied formed a campaign of their own and sponsored their own event, deliberately choosing hide-covered percussion instruments and barbecuing everything. They passed out leaflets discussing their humiliation at being discriminated against and ran around asking for petitions and checks to be signed. Someone started a march leading to the cow event. No one knew what they were going to do once they got there. The crowd became a black cloud. Chanting repetitively, faster and faster, they began to run. The wild heartbeats of the drums startled the cows so badly they ran in all directions, under and over, water troughs, fences, and anti-cow demonstrators. They ran until there were none left. No cows. No anti-cows. Or so it looked. The few cows that escaped in flattenment committed themselves to the pasture and took up a defensive martial art. That was the last ever heard. Lots of grain is being grown on the spot where the cows used to be, which feeds many more people. The grain is quiet and doesn't bother anyone. So far. Cowathon. Never mind that she isn't really collecting cow things, but only recently noticed she does have a cow potholder, finger puppet, mask, wall hanging, and of course cow punch and cow stamps for no waking reason. Never mind that the word cattle is not as nice as cows. Never mind the handset Caslon type stampeding via letterpress on Reeves' heavyweight buff or the covers handmade from Maine Paper Cows by Beth Herrick and Heather McDuffie of Port and Starboard Press. Never mind that she doesn't eat cow anymore. Cow's favorite music? Mood music. This is number 45 of an edition of 75, book 33.